Hello and what's up guys, this is Rohit from Elro Developers and today we're gonna talk about passing data from table view controller to a normal view controller. Um, so let's start. Go to file new project. Take a single view application. Next. Table data transfer. Make sure you have it for iPhone. Click next. Hey, please. Great. So now you can see you have a project here. And you have a view controller here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a table view controller here as we're gonna transfer the data from table view controller to the normal view controller. So I'll just drag a table view controller. There we have it. And I'm taking the main entry point of the application from here to here. Control click on the table view controller and drag it on the view controller and select the push segue. Now, any view controller cannot use it push segue unless it is embedded in a navigation view controller so what we're gonna do is we're gonna embed this table view controller into the navigation view controller for that to the editor go to embed in and select navigation view controller okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the cell we're gonna have a reuse identifier as cell so we're gonna have a label in this view controller and the details of the row we select from this table view will be shown in this label here. We're gonna take a label. Just drag and make it a big one. Yes. That's good. Okay. Okay. Now we have two view controllers. Now we're gonna have the files of navigation view controller. For that, go to file, new file. Take objective C class. Make sure this is UI table view controller. This one. And you can name it as you please, like I'll take the table view controller. Just go next and create. So you can see you have the two files here, table view controller. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm to the data source and delegates of the table view. For that you have to go like UI. See you can see the options already. We have to go for the table view data source. UI table view delegate. Okay. We have them both. See what data source does is uh, it gives the option to manage the data for the view. As view cannot actually manage its own data, so it gives the support to the controller so that it can handle the data for the view. We'll have an NS array here, property of NS array, property NS array, star array. I took an array here because it will have the list of all the names that we're gonna use or put in the table view. You'll see that in a moment. Let's move forward and let's Synthesize it. Synthesize. Synthesized array. You can see that as we confirm to table view data source and data table view delegate, we have some methods here that we have to override. Such methods are number of section in table view. 
number of rows in section and we will use cell for row at index path ok and we do not really need all these methods here so I'm just gonna go forward and delete them like really and we're gonna remove it from the comment ok We're gonna remove these comments also. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is number of sections in a table view says that return an integer value, and if we return two, it means that the table view will have two sections, and each section will have rows in them. So for here, we are just gonna use one section, so I'll just return one here. Now the method number of rows in sections says that return an integer value and if we return suppose let's say 2 it will have 2 rows in that particular section right so here we're gonna use an array so let me first just create an array and then we'll get back to this we'll create an array in view to load and I'm just gonna remove all this we create an array here array equal to add the rate and done add the rate employee one Okay, that's enough I guess so yes we have an array here so what we're gonna do when the number of section method is we're gonna call array count so this will return the number of elements that the array has so yes it will return three here now what we're gonna do is See, as you can see, the UI table view cell needs a reuse identifier. So, what we're gonna do is we'll first create that identifier. Static and a string cell identifier. have an identifier here and we're gonna use that identifier here now we have to configure the cell what we'll do is cell what we'll do is cell dot text dot text equal to array object at index yes index path dot dot row yeah if you want an accessory on the cell you can take it like cell dot Accessory type accessory beginning me accessory type to UI table table view 
cell. indicator so yes if you want an accessory on a cell like on the right side if you want to show uh, an arrow you can have it like this cell dot accessory type UI table view cell accessory disclosure indicator and then we will return the cell what is left is I'll just go and import the view controller dot edge file here Now we're gonna have a method prepare for segue. Yes, we have it here. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna pass to pass data. You can do it by properties and you can use prepare for segue method for that. So we're gonna use NS index path here first. NS index path. So path equal to self dot table view index path or selected row. So, what this does is, it will give us a path that will have index for the selected row. And how we are going to use it in passing data, we will just see in a moment. I am going to create an object of the view controller, VC, and we will make the VC as the destination view controller by segue destination view controller yes now we will have vc okay we'll first have to create uh, properties in the view controller dot s file before we can actually use it at property as integer label now we actually had a label here as you can see we have a label here so we will need an outlet of that label in that appropriate we control that edge file control click and drag here for the outlet you can give it the name of a label make sure it is an outlet click connect so yeah, you have an outline now. Back to this. We have it. So okay, now we can use those properties here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have vc dot int label equal to path dot row. So this will give us the selected row number and we are getting that number into int label now how we gonna use it is we are going to the view controller that m file and in the view to load all we have to do is if int label ok we first have to synthesize it I believe in synthesizing, synthesizing label, okay. synthesize label also, synthesize everything, yeah. Okay, synthesize in, if int label equal equals zero, that means we have the first index where we have employee one. Cut it short, I'm just gonna use the text fields directly place the data there we can actually use the database here to fetch data accordingly and we'll see that in the later tutorials so I'm just gonna go ahead and do label.txt equal to average employee 
one. I'm gonna have slash in here. I'll tell you what it does. Employee one's address here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, what slashing does is it will give you a new line, but unless you have selected more than one line here, it won't show you. So make sure you select more than one line here for your code to support multiple lines. Okay, do this for for all of them I'm just gonna go and copy paste it if label is one if two if three employee two employee three okay we just have three employees right do not have the fourth employee I'm just gonna remove this Employ twos, employ threes. Okay, I'll, you have to put else if it's, that's better. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. We'll try and run the program. We have an empty list. Okay. Oh yeah. Problem we have here is. In the table view, we the problem we have here is in the table view we, we have not yet connected these files to this controller. So do that by doing this. Now I guess it will be good. Stop it. Let's run it. Let's succeed. And yes, now we have the list. So make sure you link that. So make sure you do not forget to link it after you uh, put the files, it's important. So now when we click on any employee, it will give the details of that employee. See, now we have employee 1 and employee 1's address here. Same for employee 2, same for employee 3. So yes, we succeeded to pass the data from the table view controller to the normal view controller. And we actually used int label to get the index of that row selected and depending on that index we actually provided the details here we use the shortcut way to do that we can also use database for it and we'll do it in the later tutorials thank you for watching please like share and subscribe you can put your comments below if you have any problem regarding the program and we'll be happy to help you thanks